Hello everyone, welcome back to another new video of pen paper physics. Today's topic that we are going to learn is about fluorescence. That means how can you turn the green laser into orange? I was thinking of making a video on refraction of light using my green laser light. I was planning to show all of you the deviation of path of light when it moves from one transparent medium to another transparent medium and I also wanted to show you the deviation of path using other liquid for example refined oil and regular water for showing this deviation. So we must observe the deviation of path of light once when light is traveling from air to oil and from oil to water. When light is traveling from air to oil, it must bend towards the normal. And when light is traveling from oil to water, it bends away from the normal as oil is optically denser than water. So I am ready with my laser light and my density column. Let's start. Just a second. What I observe over here that when green laser light is passing through the oil, it turns into orange. But will it happen for all type of oils? Let's find out. So to investigate further, I took three kinds of oil. One, coconut oil. Two, regular body oil. And three, mustard oil. But what I found over here was that green laser light is turning into orange only when it is passing through the mustard oil, not body oil or not even in coconut oil. But what could be the probable reason for that? The green light comprises of tiny particles of high energy. They are called photons. These photons travel with the speed of light and in an atom, electrons revolve around the nucleus in a fixed orbit and each and every orbit has their own fixed energy levels. When this green laser light is incident here, these atoms absorb those photons and using their energy, they reach in an excited state from their ground state. In higher state, the atom may lose some energy due to non-radiative relaxation, that is, in terms of heat energy. Due to this non-radiative relaxation, the energy of absorption is greater than the energy of emission and these excited atoms emit their energy in form of light, but light with longer wavelength as it is having less energy than the energy in absorption. Hence the light emerging from the substance lacks wavelength corresponding to the photons absorbed by the substance and because of which it appears to be orange. And this property of absorbing light of short wavelength and emitting light of longer wavelength is called fluorescence. In case of other oils, these energy of photons are not enough to excite the atoms. So, we cannot see any effect over there. Oh, so you came back. I hope you have understood what I tried to teach you. If not, rewind and redo and research. Definitely you will also get the concept. Till then, don't go without hitting the like button. Please do like, share and subscribe. And stay tuned with us for other interesting videos. Bye.